Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Bounce Bat from Gem OK, another bad app. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside AUM. We are going to create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. And we are going to load a grand piano as an audio source here for this audio channel. Then inside the MIDI channel, we are going to load Bounce Pad. So what is Bounce Pad? Well, Bounce Pad is a MIDI sequencer, a generative MIDI sequencer. And as you can see, it's based on physics. And you can see on the screens, we have a number of balls, which can eat the top, bottom, left and right um, uh, wall side or side of the screens and you can see represented in each side of the screen a keyboard which can be configured so when a ball hit for example in this case d2 that d2 note is actually sent out as a midi signal now or a midi event so we can change the number of ball counts so let's go down to two we can increase the speed like so we can increase the size as well and as you can see at the moment they are overlapping to each other but of course that uh, can be changed as well and you can enable collision so in order to hear sound first of all you need to connect the bounce pad here to this uh, audio source so you select the bounce pad here and then you can choose which event you want to trigger in this case the audio source so we can say for example the top now you still don't hear any sounds and that's because you need to kick off to activate play on the transport control of um so let's try Of course, the more the, the more um, balls you have, or if you increase the ball count, like to eight, you'll have, of course, a lot of more balls hitting the top side of the screen. And therefore, when you click play, you'll have more notes generated. Of course, you can uh, um, have a lot of fun with this. You can create another audio channel. You can uh, load, for example, another uh, audio unit extension like ISM, and you can connect again bounce pad, for example, why not the bottom part? And then we can click play. This is great fun, of course. Um, at the bottom left, you can see also the selection of patterns, these standard features in all the uh, bad apps. So you can create multiple patterns, you can copy and paste them, and therefore you can switch between one and another as well using, for example, um, CC messages and of course other bad apps as well. If you go to settings here, you can change the pattern CC number, which is used to change the pattern number. You can change the MIDI in channel as well. You can change the scale and the key which is used. And then for each side of the screen, you can define the note length if it is a quarter or if it is um, um, half, eighth, etc., etc. And then you can define the minimum and maximum octave, which allows you to change the register up and down. For example, you might want to have it lower for a bass or higher for strings the minimum maximum velocity so the range the output and input channel and also you can select the specific notes as well you click here and then you select the different notes you can enable a collision with other balls like so so when then they can now eat each other when i click ok you can see they you have collision between the different uh, balls which of course create a different type of dynamics And of course, if you want to change the settings, go on the setting and you might just um, say, OK, I want the bottom part and to have a, a less uh, maximum velocity. So we are going to reduce that um, 127 to perhaps, um, why not, um, 80 itself, like so, and then or around 80. And then we decrease again uh, the range here, like so. So the velocity will be lower. Of course, this is really, really a lot of fun. Now, 
that is not uh, everything for the app. You can actually have MIDI input enable and look what happens. You can trigger notes, which will be represented here by this rectangle. And as they are progressing from the bottom up, you um, in this case, you they can uh, the balls will interact actually with the notes, which is quite interesting. So you create variability as well. Of course, you need to re they respect the scale which have been selected like so. So you can really put more notes like so, and then you can carry on, and you can see the balls have to interact as well with the notes that you have on the screen, which adds more variability. <laughs> almost like a little bit of a, a video game to, uh, with the ability to actually inject uh, notes directly as a, a ver to add additional variability um, so I think that's a, a great uh, addition to the uh, bad apps portfolio from gem ok so I will create other tutorials as well because it's uh, it's a lot of fun okay I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and demonstration and as always see you next time bye